Hey guys, it's Ben from Living Survival, and today we're going to be checking out a couple of products from Rav Power, including this 9 watt solar panel. So stick with me. Alright, guys, this is the Rav Power 9 watt solar panel. It only weighs 1.1 pounds, and as you can see, it's very low profile. So I really like that. These are great for charging up your devices, great for throwing in a get home bag or bug out bag, and having portable power on the move. Opening up the Velcro cover here. It just extends out into three panels and you can just lay that right on the ground. It also has these grommets which you could put cordage through. It also does come with four uh, carabiner clips that you could clip in there because you can clip these to your pack while you're on the move and charge your devices while you're hiking or while you're backpacking. Um, I've used these in the car where maybe I'm at a buddy's house and we're outside doing something, I can just lay this on the hood of my car and keep my devices charged up that way. You can pretty much charge anything with a USB. What's nice about this is it doesn't come with, you know, it's very minimal and I like that, I like minimal things. The only cord that's in this Velcro compartment on that end here is just simply a USB output. So that's awesome because, you know, chances are you have the cord for your device and you can just plug it in. So that's what helps make it very, very minimal. And of course it is nine watts of power, so it actually will charge your devices up within a few hours. It is weather resistant, not waterproof, but if you were walking in the rain, I'm sure it could definitely hold up to that. Again, it just has this uh, pouch right here, which is Velcroed to keep, uh, maybe you do want to store some additional adapters in there, but you can tuck your cell phone in here so that it's not sitting in direct sunlight. Uh, it would be in the in the cover, uh, but it does make it nice and low profile, which is, which is what I really like about this solar panel. Just like their USB uh, batteries, which I'll show you in a minute, it does have the iSmart technology, so it'll match the maximum current of the device that it's plugged into. So that's nice, you're not gonna overcharge your devices and uh, you're not going to hurt them with too much power being sent. So in my get home bag, I've carried a similar panel for quite some time. Like I said, I've used these at a buddy's house when I, you know, I'm not near a plug or something like that, out on a boat, uh, in an RV, you know, camping, backpacking, great for get home bags and bug out uh, bags. You can see that this is the Goal Zero Nomad 7. This is a 7 watt panel. So we can compare the sizes here. The 9 watt RAV Power is just a little bit smaller. And then of course, the thing that I really like is that it's a lot more low profile. And the reason for that is you have this zippered compartment in the back here and you have all sorts of adapters. Now the uh, Nomad 7 also has direct USB output. It also has 12 volt output, which is pretty nice. You can, uh, you know, hook a cigarette, something with a cigarette lighter adapter in here. But most items these days are going to have USB. So I don't really use any of these cables. And I could actually just take them out. And you would think it would be just as thin, but you've got this module on the side here that causes it to, to gain that extra bit of thickness. So I really like the fact that the RAV power is very minimal, but very similar in size, but a little bit higher power than the Goal Zero. Now they do also make a 15 watt panel, but again, it's gonna be a bigger panel, and I like these because they're very easy to slip down into your kit, whether you slip it in that way or that way, about the size of an iPad mini or Samsung tablet. So I mean, you can get them right in your get home bags or bug out bags, making it a great item to have for that backup power. And they do work really well. Uh, I've been playing around with these for about a year now and I do find myself using them so they're definitely convenient and nice to have. So the other item that came from RAV Power is one of their USB batteries. They make a lot of these USB uh, external batteries. This is one of the Element series. This is a 10,400 milliamp. These are all fairly similar. Uh, this one has kind of a glossy finish. It's definitely a fingerprint magnet but doesn't really bother me much. When you're buying one of these you want to look for one that has a 2.1 uh, amp output. This actually doesn't say it but it has the one amp output here for older cell phones but if you're going to charge a tablet or a newer cell phone like an iPhone 6 or something you want to use the iSmart port and that's going to give you the, a maximum output of 2.1 uh, amp which is 
uh, going to charge your devices much quicker. This is going to have pretty much the same features as most USB batteries. If you've played around with this before, it has an LED display on the front. You can see it's about half charged now. I use this all the time around the house to keep my cell phone charged. I'm too lazy to go over to a plug and this way you can keep your cell phone right with you by plugging it in and just carrying both of these around. Works great when I'm at the house. Uh, if my daughter's over and she's using her tablet or something, you know, before she goes to sleep and it's dead, I can just hook this up real quickly. And so you don't have to be stretching for cords or anything like that, which makes it nice. So again, you have the LED readout that would go, you know, it blinks when it's charging and goes all the way full when it's fully charged. I can charge my Samsung Galaxy 4 about two and a half times with this. So the 10,000 milliamp I find is uh, adequate enough power and I really like the slim size. You know, as you go up in milliamps, you usually go up in size. So this makes a great companion to the RAV Power solar charger. And of course you can use that to charge this as well as many other devices. It also comes with this really nice stuff sack, uh, something as small as that, which didn't come with my other USB chargers, you know, does actually make it quite nice. And it has these flat cables, which I really like. So they give you two flat cables, one shorter cable for connecting to like your computer to keep this charged up, for example, and one longer cable as well as a few additional uh, tips here. You have micro USB on both of these, then they have a mini uh, USB port there and an older iPhone. They don't have the newer iPhone tip, but you can certainly get it. So as long as you have adequate sun, you can use the solar panel to charge any of your USB devices from USB flashlights. GPS is that you have USB, of course your cellular phones, USB external batteries, battery packs that take USB that'll do AA and AAA, and then any of your cameras or other electronics such as this GoPro. It will charge all of these up simply using the power of the sun. So what I find myself doing when I'm out in the bush or camping or hiking is I'll use the solar panel during the day to keep a USB uh, battery backup charged and then at night when I'm in the tent or in my shelter for example, I can dump uh, the power from this back into my cellular phone, back into my GPS, back into my flashlight, back into my cameras, etc, etc. So hooking it up to your devices is very simple. You just take the correct uh, adapter or tip. This happens to be a uh, micro USB, but you just hook the USB into the iSmart module here and then you go from there directly into your device. So I can go right in to my cell phone for example and then put this in the direct sun and it will begin to charge my cell phone. You can do the same thing with your battery backups. Very simply just plug it in and it will keep it directly charged. So for charging up items like my GoPro, things that take the, uh, the mini USB, I can just throw one of these tips on here and then plug directly into my device such as that, such as my battery pack here which takes that one, then I believe my GPS takes that as well. So with one cable I can do most of my devices. For something like this through night flashlight that comes with its own proprietary charging system or cable, as long as you have this cable with you, it's no problem. You just plug that in and then I can go directly into my iSmart port on my battery backup and you can see that we're charging there no problem. So again during the day I can keep this charged with the solar panel and then dump that into my electronics uh, at night. Alright guys so you can see here that I can just clip it right onto my pack up at the top there and you can just leave it clipped onto your pack while you're hiking or backpacking and it'll keep your devices charged on the go. Alright guys so hope you enjoyed this video on the RAV Power 9 watt solar panel and the uh, the RAV Power USB battery backup. Two great things to have in your survival kits, your vehicle kit. I find myself using it a lot during the summer when I'm hiking or backpacking. Like I said, I can just keep it on my back, keep things charged, charge the USB backup during the day and then dump into my devices at night. So that setup works really well. So of course I'll add this item on my Amazon store as well as all the other products that I bring you guys to review. The link is always under every single one of my videos so you guys can go and check that out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you leave me some comments below and as always guys, subscribe for more videos.